Good morning, guys. Good morning. We are back at it once again. <laughs> the day is beautiful. The sun is shining. Everything's perfect right now. So when we left you off last time, we were getting our laundry room wired. We were getting the water lines put in for the washer. Ran some stuff down. Nothing was connected. But we have something very special for you today that we couldn't wait to do this video to show you guys. Mm -hmm. So stick with us. You guys remember a few months ago we actually got our uh, water lines installed so here's the main water for our house yep just a pipe sticking out of the ground right now yeah soon it won't be though <laughs> <laughs> but our well is over there and um, we do have a water line spigot over there in the garden area that we've been actually using so yeah you guys seen our spigot yeah and our our kitchen sink yeah our, our makeshift <laughs> kitchen sink for right now <laughs> it's actually been working very well mm -hmm. for us to use this stuff outside yeah especially with the weather being nice um yep. sometimes it's a little chilly out here in the mornings when i'm doing dishes but it's not like winter <laughs> no so we are on well water like we just said and there's a few advantages and disadvantages of being on well water yeah i'm not sure if you guys know but well water can have a lot of contaminants in it. It can have sulfur, a um, lot of minerals. It can have stuff that's leached into the groundwater that's coming up to your well from, you know, farmers. Let's say like pesticides, herbicides, different things. It could, right? And so, and a, another thing is rust. Yeah, rust or uh, iron. Yep, can yeah. make your water brown, smell funny, all kinds of different things. Yeah, very minerally smell. So sometimes I've come over here and I've done dishes and like I turn the water on and it comes out and it's like brown and it'll be brown for a little while and then other times it's clear like right now it's pretty clear coming out of there yeah it looks pretty clear yeah okay uh, and this is all just from our well guys yeah and I don't think there's a mineral there's very little little mineral smell to it but uh good taste in water I will say that it's very important for your family to make sure the water is clean you know you don't want dirty water when you take a shower cooking different things like that yeah plus you don't want dirty water all in your water lines too and no cause problems down the road mm hmm so we have a very very good solution for that what's all this stuff guys <laughs> there's a lot of stuff on this yeah, table got babe. A lot going on <laughs> So since we're on well water, guys, um, a very nice lady from the company SimPure, I'm going to leave a link down to their website in the description, okay? They contacted us and saying, hey, we see that you guys are on well water, and we would love to send you guys our whole home watering system, fil filtration system, and a tabletop reverse osmosis and UV filtration system to install on our house and to share with you guys and let you know if we think it's good or not. Yeah. And this is not a complete review guys. This is, we're going to be installing this. We're going to be using this on our house. Mm -hmm. It's something we wanted to purchase anyways, right? Yeah. Roxanne brought it before. We need some filters on our house for the well water and she's completely correct. Yeah. And then lo and behold, <laughs> we got hit up by awesome SimPure. Yeah. Yeah. So the reverse osmosis system, it's a tabletop unit that takes 110 volt. You just plug it right in to any wall, add some water, which is very easy to do. If you lift the back portion up, you can just take that with you, fill it up in the faucet, put it back in the filtration system, and you're ready to go. The SimPure Whole House Water Filtration System, there's four different models that they offer. We have the model DB10. And as you can see, this is pretty rugged design. It's, it's very rugged. It's gonna last for many, many, many years. Yeah, they're heavy. And they are heavy duty. And we have the CTO filter, which is, it removes chlorine, tastes, odor, VOCs, and pesticides and herbicides. This filter is good for 16,000 gallons or four to six months. It's a lot of water. That is. So on top of that filter, we also have another filter, which is an MPP filter. Um, this one removes rust, dust, silt, sand, and undissolved particles. Same thing with this, 16,000 gallons. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if I said this, but this is a sediment filter. 
So this is a clear glass filter that allows you to see the water with an easy valve where you can un, uh, drain it out and get rid of all the sediment and close it up. This filter will be on first in line of these three to make sure none of this big stuff gets into the other filters. So we are gonna be installing this today, guys. We've been wanting one of these, like we said. We are ready to go, we're super excited. Mm -hmm. And let's get busy doing that right now. All right, guys, so we brought all the filters over here. One thing I forgot to mention, I'm gonna show you guys even more, but a lot of these filters come with additional parts like this is for the sediment filter right here it's a drain tube for the bottom and these filters they come with bags with the teflon tape inside they come with the screws to mount these brackets on i already mounted one of them on to see it was very simple to do just four screws and then you need bolts or something to bolt it wherever you're gonna put it. And Roxanne and I have been trying to figure out how we're gonna do this because we knew that we wanted the three filters here. We know that they need to be insulated and you know, so they don't freeze. We don't want them to freeze. Yeah, yeah, boxed in and insulated. Boxed in. So what we're gonna end up doing, we're probably gonna be mounting these onto the house. <coughs> So they're gonna go like this. One, there's three of them, okay guys? So the piping's coming in over there, we're gonna pipe it over. Mm -hmm. And then what we're gonna end up probably doing is building a small little lean-to style box that's gonna encase all of these filters with a door in the front so when we need to change out the filters, it's very easily accessible and it's, you know, insulated. Yeah, yeah. So, so. it won't freeze during the winter. Yeah, yeah. It's really hard trying to figure all this stuff out, guys. When we um, <coughs> when we first got here, yeah. trying to figure it all out. Because when we were setting up the houses, we we're like, man, we're not sure where the water's gonna be, where this is gonna be at. We're just gonna, we're gonna have to figure it out <laughs> as we go, you know, and trying our best here. But I think we're doing a great job. Yeah, no, we figured it out. Yeah. I, mean, let's, I think pretty much though, once we got the power in, we kind of had an idea of where the water was gonna come in at. Yeah. So we gotta put that pipe on. Let's push all the way down, let's see. That's good right there, it's just dry fitting. You have the tape measure? Let's see, here. So. 20 inches is right in the middle. 20 inches? Yeah. So I can mark this right there. Okay. So right now we're just gonna be dry fitting everything except for that one coupler we glued. Um, just to make sure everything fits before we actually glue it. All right, ran into a snag already. Oh baby. Yeah. <laughs> so what we decided to do, we're gonna hook up these three filters the sediment filter and these three, we're gonna hook all these three together first and get them mount them where we go and then pipe to it so we know exactly exactly where everything should be yeah. rather than trying to have the pipe go and then fit the filters to the pipe. Oop, wanna lose extra pieces? What's nice about these two guys, they give you an extra um, purge valve. In case yours goes flying off, these right here. To purge it, which I think is really cool. Yeah. Hold that one real quick. Easy peasy, guys. It's kind of rough a little bit.
kind of nerve-wracking knowing that we have to do this, guys, because if we mess it up, our house is going to leak everywhere. Yeah. And I don't want that. Yeah, there'll be no water in the house because it'll all be leaking out. Yeah. <laughs> With PVC, you don't want to tighten it too much, but you don't want to be not tight enough. Mm -hmm. If you tighten it too much, you start stripping them. Well, water, too. It always finds a way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in case you guys are curious what the dogs are doing. Oh. Oh. The same thing they always do. Just loafing around. Loafing around. Yeah, you loafing. She likes to loaf. I think Jaina is probably one of the best loafers I know around town. Brought the lawnmower over, or out, I should say. Um, it's time I mow my grass. It's getting pretty long, but for some reason the lawnmower is not starting right now, so. We'll have to mess around with it. Hopefully we can get it running here soon because my grass is getting a little out of control over there. <laughs> I really do not like this pipe cutter. I know, it's... I don't like it either. It's not like... It doesn't... It doesn't... Whoop! Back. No. All right. One. Now the fun part. Yeah, well, we're just dry fitting these right now. Okay. Because, let's see where we need them to go. Make sure they're long enough or... Yeah. Well, long enough. Sure, or too well, long. Yeah, well, that and... Oh, I need two. It's more just to make sure we know where they're going to be when they're mounted. You know? Yeah. Do you think it'd be easier to mess with these without the canisters on? Yeah. See, I knew I married you for a reason. <laughs> Smart thinking. This is like the heaviest part. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think of it. Good idea. Yeah, I honestly did not think about it until huh. just now. I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, right. Probably You're probably it. waiting to see how long it'd take me to do it. Yeah, and then I felt sorry for you. All right, I'll let him know. I'll, I'll tell him, I guess. I'll let him know. No. Huh. It wasn't even close to that. Right. <laughs> Do you want me to hold that? Yeah, just hold that like right here. Just kind of like a guide. The pipe. Alright, so. Let's see, good thing because we're going to have to make this shorter. Yeah. See where that lined up? The most part about right there, right? Whoop. Put that pipe down, down. Um. Okay. No, this is gonna have to go like this. Man. So about, we can do like right about there. Let's see. So now. Up. This is bent four, so we just. Yep, oh, it looks good. Right in. I say eight and seven eighths, right? Really? Yeah. All right. Style these. I had a different one, a cobalt one. It would it would clink back. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the reason why I don't like this style. Because they don't. What that's happened why to That's why I'm holding the blade. They're around here somewhere. So it like, when you hold the blade like that, it goes right back. All right. All right, true test. No, I was seven and seven eighths, I think. <laughs> Nine, Let me see. Yeah, I would say uh, two times the charm works for us around here instead of three times the charm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Mm. And the glue and stuff. Yeah. Making it very hard. There you go. Yeah. Boom. So there's the, oh. we are gonna have a spigot, guys. Remember that spigot I used out front? And I had to replace it with the frost free one. Well I'm using that in here. And this is gonna be inside the insulated box that we build. But we need a spigot back here. And so we're gonna be doing off the filter, it's gonna be a T like this guys. Just like that. So a water filter for a hose built inside the box is going to be inside here insulated. During the winter, we'll use the frost-free one, frost-free one. And during the summer, everything else, we're going to have water right here, right off the main, which is going to be super awesome. Yeah. You guys see this real quick right here? So we are using PEX, as you guys know. And so they make these connectors that go from PVC to PEX. Um, you do uh, push on one, screw on ones, do the screw on ones. So what we're going to do, basically you see this guys, look, this is going to come off the main water line and it's going to split off into two separate PEX lines. Yeah, and it's going to come off right here. Yep, so one will be for the cold. For the house. Going through the whole house, so just right up to the faucets. The other one will be going into the hot water heater. And then the hot water here is going to bring it back down all pecs and then through the house. That's the best way we kind of researched and thought of how to do it. I didn't want to do a pex manifold. I thought about doing that too, guys. But it's all going to be under here. And there's real no reason for it since everything's being ran under the house. So this is the uh, solution we came up with. And I think it's going to work out really good. Yeah, I do too. I'll dry fit it though. Yeah. Okay. So see you guys. I know it looks weird, but this thing's gonna be under the house. So, it's gonna be like this. <clears throat> Pretty much like that. This is um, where the PEX is gonna start, and then we're gonna be able to run it down the house. So, I think that looks pretty good for the dry fit, babe. About like that. Yeah. I can angle this, look at this guys, to where it goes right on top of this two by six and so I can strap this in and mount it so it doesn't move. So I think that's gonna work out really well. And so we can probably take all this apart and start gluing it. Yay. Right. Yeah, better be careful because it's permanent after we do this. Yeah, that's it. We'll be buying more pieces. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Finishing the last few pieces. Yep. It's very easy to do, guys, setting all these filters up. In all reality, it's not hard with some basic knowledge. But you can just Google and figure out how to do yourself if you're wondering. It's pretty easy. Yeah, I'd say the <laughs> hardest part was figuring out how to get the water to the house with the filters. Yeah, that was. Yeah, figuring out like the different 90 degree angles and the T's and the fittings. Yeah, hold up. Yeah, that was kind of rough. Because, I mean, if you're like us, you don't really know exactly what the heck you're doing. Yeah. You're just going at it. And then praying and hoping it works. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. 
Hook yeah, it up water gonna be spraying out underneath the house though when the first time we try it, but that's okay. That's all right. <laughs> we gotta. We'll get... move those pex pex hoses out oh, of the way. Oh, that don't even matter. Oh, that doesn't get wet. It's true. I guess. <sighs> all right. One, two, four more, five more pieces, and that's it. <clears throat> Good thing about PVC is it dries in like two seconds to where you need it to go, and so you don't have to hold it no more. It just does it real quick. Last little piece to connect. And let's hope and pray that our Simpure water filters don't leak. And if they do, it's our fault. <laughs> We're so close to having water in the house, which is nice too. <laughs> There it is. I would say it looks just like it did when it was dry fitted, so good job, baby. Yeah, you too, baby. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear the sound in the background, but Anthony got the lawnmower running and he is getting it over there in the grass. It looks so nice. All right guys, so while we wait for that glue to dry, I wanna see if we can show you guys a difference between well water clarity and the clarity after using a filtration system. So here's regular well water. Like I said, it looks pretty clear. We're lucky. But there are some floaties in there. I think those are more bubbles. Those are bubbles, but there is some stuff in there. But our well water is actually pretty clear. Yeah, let's see. No smell, really. Nope. No smell. But some systems are very dirty. Lots of rust, lots of different things inside. Yeah, well, like I said, sometimes we do get rust and it does turn brown, so it's yeah. pumping something out sometimes. Besides, there's probably tons of stuff in there that we just can't see because it's so yeah. small. Yes, yeah, true. So along with using a whole home filtration system, we have here the tabletop Simpure reverse osmosis system. UV. And with UV. Mm -hmm. And this thing is really easy to fill up. It's just plugged right in and you can have good, clean, good tasting water. All on your countertop. Right on your countertop. Yeah. It's very simple to fill up. Watch, we'll show you guys. That just opens up. You take the reservoir out. And you go fill it up. Yeah. Beeping, there's no water. And using well water, you just fill it on up. Or tap water, you know, yeah. hose water, any water. Yeah. They can be filtered out. This reservoir holds a little bit over a gallon of water. So it's good, it's gonna last a while. I mean, it depends on how much water you drink, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I drink a lot of water. Yeah, Roxanne drinks a ton of water. So we go through one of these almost every day. If not more. If not more, especially when it gets hotter, we're gonna go through more. But it's very convenient. You, you literally, all you have to do is just fill it up. Well, I'll say one thing that's nice about it, it does have this little handle to carry it because, I mean, it's heavy. You know? It's a gallon of water. Yeah. There we go. <clears throat> oh, it's, it's, no, it's crooked. Nope, Put it in crooked. Yeah. Whew. There you go. And that's that. It's got a touch. Oh, is it plugged in? Yeah, it's got a touch screen. 
says flushing 180 milliliters 350 milliliters 450 milliliters and reset so once that water's in there like i said all you do is get a, get a cup and press a button mm -hmm. howdy so just do 180 milliliters Flip, that's it yeah, it's kind of like a keurig yeah it's like a water keurig yeah yeah see like i can already tell that this water is more clear than that water yeah let me see if there's a difference maybe you guys will be able to tell like i said on camera it's kind of hard but can you guys see the difference at all here's plain well water Here's it filtered. Well water and filtered. I see a difference. Yeah, I can see a difference. Yeah, I can see a difference. And it's taste? good stuff. It tastes like bottled water. <laughs> like seriously. Yeah. Yeah. It's yep. very good guys. Yep. Yep. So if you guys are on well water or city water or any type of water and you're not sure if it's filtered and everything as well as you would like having both a whole house filter system and a tabletop unit would be very beneficial i mean that's like i mean seven filters yeah that's crazy you know plus uv you know light to kill bacteria and different things okay. so i'm pretty sure it's clean water when you're drinking it especially out of the tabletop yeah there's there's no way I mean, things are gonna get through there when you have that many filters on it. Yeah. And all this stuff is fairly simple to install and connect and do all that stuff. Yeah. It's very easy. Anybody can anybody can use that tabletop system. Yeah, the filters aren't hard to change out. No. That. You, you literally just plug it in, fill it up, and press a button. Yep. yep. <laughs> but I think this glue has been dried. It's been a over an hour, and this stuff doesn't take too long to dry. So I wanna test these and make sure there's no uh, leaks. The only thing, I don't know how we're gonna be able to pressure test it. All right, we're gonna run the water through there. We can't really pressure test it yet because we don't have anything to stop the water from coming up the end there. But we have an idea in mind. So tomorrow we'll run into town and we'll get the materials because we definitely want to pressure test this before we like say it's good and get everything oh, yeah, no, ran. We have to and make sure that all this glue is, in, is good. Yeah. No. Yeah, so, but we do want to try to run water through it and just see how it does. Make sure it doesn't leak or anything. So this is the first filter. It's the carbon filter we're going to put in. And you just put it right in there, guys. There's a little spot for it. You screw it on in. Of course, I'm probably doing it, we're doing it wrong. And I would imagine you don't want it super tight, but not super loose, right? Yeah, you don't want it super tight, super loose. This next one. Just like that. Purge him, let him go through. Slowly do this. Yeah. Oh, that's filled up already. Oh, nice. I can hear this one filling up. I'm turning the water on very slow, guys. Yeah, we have very, very high water pressure on this yeah. well. Just a little more. That one's filling up. Mm -hmm. Should be seeing water coming out over here soon. Oop. What about you want to turn this little valve on? You little spigot. I'm gonna turn this off, but I'm not trying to get too much water on it. I know. Because <laughs> we can't, but I know there's no pressure, so we can't really test these out yet, but they're filled up, ready to go. There's no leaks that you see of? No, but we gotta wait till there's pressurized, but. Yeah. It's looking good, guys. Well, I would imagine if there was any major leaks, you'd see them right away. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah.
pretty clear. Yeah, it looks pretty clear to me. Look at that. That was like bottle of water. Yeah. Look at it in the sun. Look at that water, guys. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, here, look, I got well water here. We'll uh, compare the two side by side. How does it taste? Like PVC glue. Does it really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Ew. No, well, it still needs to dry. It's been drying for about an hour, but. Yeah. <laughs> but there's no like, there's no, no smell to it. No smell? Mm-mm. And a little bit of PVC glue taste to it. About it. Mm. Well, here, look, I got I got the well water right here. I can see a difference. Oh, yeah, look. Well water. Um, filter water. Definitely, definitely a difference, so. Very cool. Well, that makes me happy. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely nice to know that we're going to have nice, clean water going through our house. All right, guys, well, we kind of left you in limbo in this last clip over here. <laughs> we do need to go into town for some more supplies this morning, so we're gonna go do that real quick. Spend more money. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody likes doing that. But we're gonna go grab that stuff and we will be back. Yeah. All right, guys, we made it back from the store. <laughs> and to be able to pressure test these lines, um, we weren't sure that they had any of these things, but they do. So they do sell PEX plugs. I didn't even know that they sold them. I had no idea. So we found two of these. I'm gonna put some extensions on where our two water lines are gonna go out. I'm gonna plug them up, crimp them on there so it's completely sealed. Um, because we wanna be able to test this stuff out before really we get all into the house. Cause we're gonna have to repressure test the whole house when everything's hooked up anyway. But at least if we know this is good, all of the glue and everything is fine. We don't have to get more PVC stuff. And just to be sure, since you know how me and Roxanne do things twice sometimes, we bought a PEX ring removal tool. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if I ever like, miscrimp something or, oh man, I gotta cut that or I really need that fitting still, this tool allows you to cut a ring off. One of these rings that I have, let's see, like one of these, you can crimp this thing on but that tool will let you cut just the ring off without messing up the fitting. So I thought that was really cool and handy to have. It wasn't that expensive. And for years and years, I'll be able to know I have it just in case I need it. Mm. Well, you do have the clamp, PEX clamp thing. Yeah. So now you have a way to remove stuff. I was just thinking about this. Okay. Now that if you plug those, mm -hmm. you could technically leave that water on and we can use the spigot. It's funny because I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> just a few minutes ago and I was like, oh, let's do this. Yeah, we could leave the, the water car. running and yeah. have the spigot right there. So I don't have to walk all the way to the garden area and then come back. Yep, so you are correct. So now that I have this tool too, guys, right? When I put these on, when we're ready to run all the house lines to this, I'm gonna cut these off. Cause I'd, I don't, I mean, if, maybe, I don't really want a bunch of couplers everywhere. So I'm gonna test it out. And then that way all the lines are one big long line. Cause it's the least amount of fittings as possible, the better. Yeah. Water's leaking all over me. No, no. I'm good to go. I had to take that filter off before so I can get underneath here. <laughs> Can't squeeze through there? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's kind of a pain. But these uh, Sim Pure filters are really easy to put on, which is really nice. Okay. Now we just gotta test it. Let's see. Come on through. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Okay, well there's obviously run water running through there. Yeah. Any leaks? I don't see any, but there's, of course there's water everywhere now. I mean, I'm sure we'd see it or hear it, but. It might be dripping, right? But. 
I know it's oh. hard. I think we're good, babe. It's holding pressure. It is. Turn the valve all the way up. Sweet. I think we're good. I think so too. All right. Good job, baby. All right, you too, babe. All right, guys. So our water filters we let run all night, and we came back out here this morning to double check them, and there's still no leaks. So the water pressure testing on at least the glued side has been holding up pretty good. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> Very good and super happy. I'm ready to get this water stuff going. Get this PEX ran. We have all the equipment here and everything that we need, so it's time to get it happening. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but on that note, guys, we got some other stuff to do, so I guess we will catch you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.